Maybe you already have a working strategy on NinjaTrader, but you still want to take advantage of what the Predator X order entry has to offer. That includes things like easy order customization for your trading bot, so auto position size, multiple profit targets, and even customizable trail stops. And on top of that, you also have additional filters like time limits, PNL kill switches, and a whole lot more with just a click of a button. And not to mention all the manual order management directly through your chart trader panel that you can combine with your strategy. In this video, I'm going to show you different ways that you can convert your strategy so that it can be used with the Predator X order entry. I will first show a manual coding example for those of you writing your own script. And then in the second part of this video, I'm going to show another example using NinjaTrader Strategy Builder. For both of these examples, you will need access to the source code so that we can modify it. So that means if you're using a third party strategy where the code is locked, then this video is not going to work for the time being. So again, you will need the source code for these next steps. But as long as you do have access to the source code, these next steps will work for probably 95% of the strategies out there. And obviously not everything is created equally. There might be some more complicated strategies where some of these steps might not apply, but I am going to try and keep it as simple as possible to follow. We also have more examples of how the Predator signal system works and how to create your own signals in our user guide. The link is going to be down below. And if you want a free trial of the Predator, join us on Discord to download it. Again, link is going to be down below. But with that, let's get right into it. The way we can use our own strategy entry conditions with the Predator is by utilizing the Predator's custom signal system. The way this works is we're just replacing our order entry with some sort of a draw object like a arrow or text. And then using that signal, we can connect it with the Predator's signal system. And then instead of your own strategy entering the trade, you will have the Predator enter that trade for you. From here, you will have access to all of the Predator's management system. You can move your stop up and down, go to break even, add to your position or exit at any time that you want, all directly through the Predator's chart trader panel. For our first example, we're doing a manual coded strategy. This one was sent in by one of the members on our Discord, and I believe it was just a modified version of this strategy from NinjaTrader's ecosystem. But let's just load it on the chart, see how it looks by itself without the Predator. So when we enable it, we can see it's taking some trades there. It uses volume and ADX for a breakout. And let's see if we get more trades. So here we have a couple trades. It doesn't take a whole lot of trades. Maybe over here we get a few more. But we can see this strategy does take trades on the historical side. Let me just play it and see if we can get a real-time trade. So there it enters and pretty much exits right away. And you are going to be a bit limited in whatever this strategy might give you. I'm really not too familiar with it. So the idea is to execute these same trades, but with the Predator's order management system. That way you have a lot more customization for your orders, different stops, trails, break evens, or any additional filters. Anything that you like to do with the Predator, you will be able to do but with the entries from this strategy. So let's open up Ninja Script Editor. So go to New, Ninja Script Editor, and I'm going to adjust our chart a little bit. All right, now let's open up this ADX breakout strategy. So go to Strategies, and we will find it in our list. Now, like I said, I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible. The main thing that we're trying to do is not enter with our strategy. We want to create a signal that the predator can read and then the predator will enter the trade for you. So all we have to do is go to your entry conditions. So enter long and we're going to comment it out. So control K or you can delete it if you want to, but I usually just comment them out. It's a little bit easier. And I'm going to replace these order entries with a draw object. And for me, I usually prefer some sort of an up or down arrow. So I'm just going to go to tradesaber.com, 
And I'm going to just copy and paste an example that we already have in our user guide. So we scroll down to the signal system, build your own signal. And I'm just going to copy this text, the draw arrow up. And I'm going to paste it right in here for my long entry. And for some reason, it's not recognizing these quotation marks. So just replace these and same with the minus. So just make sure the quotations are in blue and the minus sign is actually a minus sign. For some reason, I think copying and pasting it from a website is messing it up. I'll have to see if I can fix that. But this is all you should need for your long condition. And then I'm just going to copy and then paste it for my shorts. I'm going to change arrow up to arrow down. You don't have to do this, but I like to just so it gives me a different direction. And I'm going to change my tag to the short entry. And then I will place it at the high and plus tick size. And your color, you can change these to anything that you want. Usually a lot of you guys like to use hot pink and Dodger blue. So we'll use that. So once we have that, let's compile this. Once it's compiled, we can re-enable it on our chart. And now you're going to see arrows where our order entries used to be. So now this strategy is no longer taking trades is just plotting these arrows. All right, so now we're going to connect the predator to this strategy. And we must make sure this strategy is enabled first so it plots these arrows. So strategies, we're going to load the predator. This is going to work the same whether you're a lifetime member or on the trial. But for this example, I'm just using the trial. And if you want to see historical trades, you can select this option or else I recommend unchecking it while trading live. But the main important part is your custom signal section under O2B auto entries. We select that, entry signal, and for our long entry signal, that is going to be the tag for your arrow up. So long entry. This must match exactly 100% how it's written in here before the current bar. So you're just typing this part in. For your arrow down, your short condition, we are just typing the tag for that arrow down. So long entry, short entry, that is all that we need. Now we can customize our order. So over here, if you want to select auto quantity, if you wanted to maybe have an ATR based stop, let's say, again, an ATR based trail stop. You can do all of that, you can customize it, and you can select whatever profit targets that you want. So we'll set two profit targets here, and we will set a filter where we only trade during the regular market hours. So let's just hit apply. And now, because we have the arrows enabled on the chart, we can enable the predator and it's going to replace your original order entries from your original script and replace it with a predator order entry. So let's expand this a little bit. And guys, I'm not saying this strategy is profitable. This was just sent in to me as an example. So again, use it at your own risk. Ideally, you would do this with your own strategy. So let's see a few more examples. I don't think this one takes very many trades. And you can see this one, it was outside of our time limit and just happened to be the one winner, but <laughs> it was outside of our time limit, so it didn't take it. But that just goes to show you can customize this with the predator's properties. So there, this one was taken within time, perfect. This one over here, 3 a.m., it's outside of our time limit. So I don't wanna to spend too long on this. Obviously you will have to adjust this to your own settings, your own strategy, anything that you want to do. The Predator is just the order entry and management tool that lets you do that. And just to show a live or playback example of how this works, I'm just going to run it really quick here. All it's doing is it's waiting for that arrow to appear 
the predator is going to read it and enter based on the parameters you set within the predator. So, so here we get our arrow and then the predator enters the trade. And from here, you can manually move your stop, your profit targets, whatever you want. You also have manual controls within the chart trader panel. So if you want to go to break even, you can do that as well. If you want to add on to your position, you can do that with these buttons. Or if you want to manually close out your order, you can do so by pushing the close buttons or the flat and all button. Whatever you want to do, you have full control within the chart trader panel, but with your original order entry conditions. But with that, let's go on to our strategy builder example. All right, so now that we know how to convert a script so that it can be used with the predator, now let's move on to a strategy builder example because I think this is what a grand majority of users are going to be using. So for this example, I'm just going to pick one from the list. I think I'm going to use the EMA cross example from one of my previous videos. So let's just enable it on the chart, see how that looks. This one is just a basic EMA cross when it's above or below a trend line. And yes, all of these conditions can also be built in directly through the predator, through the MA cross auto entry, but that is another video. For this one, we're just using it as an example so we can convert strategy builder to use with the predator. So let's just take a look. And yes, it just creates entries with that EMA cross. So let's open up strategy builder. So go to new strategy builder. And once again, I'm going to adjust my charts. All right, the concept for this one is very similar to our previous example. We're just replacing the order entries with some sort of a draw object like an arrow or text. For me, I tend to lean more towards arrows. They're just easier to work with. So let's select the EMA cross example. And we're just going to fast forward all the way until our order entry. So we will actually start off with set one. So I'm just going to delete the enter long conditions and I'm going to add drawing and I'm going to select arrow up. The color can be anything that you want. I'm just going to leave it as default. The important part is going to be your tag. The tag is what we actually use so that we can enter the trade with the predator. So I like to remove this first string and string zero, again, I'm going to change to long entry or whatever tag you want to give it. Just make sure this is what we're going to type into the predator, but there is going to be one little extra step when using strategy builder. I will show you once we get to the predator part. But once we have our tag, I'm also going to add, set, go to misc, and we're going to select the current bar. Once we have that, hit OK. And then we're going to set the Y axis. This is just where your arrow is actually printed. So for a visual, I like to put it at the low of the current candle. So bars ago zero. And that is all that you need for your long entry condition. Now I'm just going to go to set number two where we have our short orders. I'm going to delete those. And I'm going to add drawing and select the arrow down this time. And again, we're going to modify the tag. The tag is always going to be the most important part. So short entry. And we also must add that current bar code. So misc current bar. And for the Y axis, I like to set these ones at the high of the bar. And all we have to do is hit that compile button and we're good to go. All right, so let's go to our strategy. I'd like to expand these just so we can see what we're working with. And once we enable that EMA cross example or whatever your strategy is, again, you're going to see these arrows instead of your order entry. And that is what we're going to use with the predator. So here you have long entry conditions. And let's expand this a little bit so it's easier to see. And here you have your down arrow when it crosses down. 
and a bunch of up arrows. So everything seems to be working. Now let's connect it to the Predator. But first, like I mentioned earlier, there is one little bit of a difference when it comes to using Strategy Builder. So I always recommend to check the tag of the actual draw object itself and not rely on anything else. This is going to tell you the correct information. So when you're using Strategy Builder, you're going to see your tag and then it's going to automatically add a space between your tag and the current bar. In the case that you do see a space between the tag and the current bar, it means you must add a space at the end of your text within the Predator. So I'm going to go into my Predator properties and you're going to see the long entry, short entry, there's no space at the end. So we're going to enable it just so we can see the problem and how to fix it. If you look up in your validation system, you're going to see an hourglass. This just means that the predator is not reading whatever tag was typed in. Because we have a space at the end, everything must match 100% right up until the current bar code. So I'm just going to disable the predator, go into our predator properties, and in the custom signals, I'm just going to add a space at the end for both of them. And I'm going to re-enable. So now that we added that extra space that was required for these specific signals, now we have our check marks in our validation system. The predator is reading it and it's entering trades based on those signals. So let's just zoom back a little bit. Here we can see a few more trades. And we still have that time filter, so some of them it's not entering because it's outside of that time. And again, this is not trading advice. This is just an example for those that want to use their own entry conditions with the Predator's order management system. And again, just to show a real time or playback example of how this works, once we have our strategy builder enabled that's printing our signals we are just waiting for that signal to print so the predator can read it and enter a trade order submitted all right so once that arrow is created again it's just going to read it and it's going to set an order based on whatever parameters you said within the predator and like always, you have access to your trail stops, break evens, anything that you want that is all going to be available to you directly through the Chart Trader panel. But I hope you guys found this video useful in how to configure your own strategies to use with the Predator. There are more examples of these in our user guide. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask on the Discord or email us support at tradesaber.com. But as always, take care. Enjoy.